So hello kids. So our today's topic is meiosis, and in Greek meiosis means less. Okay. So it is also called as reductional division. Why reductional division? Because the number of chromosomes become half at the end. Okay. So if we start with two n, which is diploid, two set of chromosome. Diploid means two set of chromosome. Then we end up with formation of gametes, which are haploid means only single set of chromosomes okay so meiosis consists of two parts meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 till this it's meiosis 1 okay and this is meiosis 2 okay in me before meiosis 1 before meiosis 1 there is a phase called as interphase okay or preparatory phase consisting of g1 s and g2 phase which we don't have in syllabus okay as for synthesis these are gap phases okay these are just for preparation okay preparatory phases okay then the actual division starts okay then meiosis will have two parts karyokinesis karyokinesis and cytokinesis so meiosis 1 will have karyokinesis 1 and cytokinesis 1 meiosis 2 will have karyokinesis 2 and cytokinesis 2 in karyokinesis 2 and karyokinesis 1 okay we'll have prophase metaphase anaphase antelophase prophase 1 metaphase 1 anaphase 1 telophase 1 okay and there's a favorite question of the board is explain the five steps of prophase 1 with the help of diagram explain the five steps of prophase 1 with the help of diagram and the five steps of prophase 1 are leptotene zygotene pachytene diplotene and dikinesis and today we will cover this five which is an important question okay so are you ready let's start so i have already drawn the interface okay interface was preparatory phase right or in that preparatory phase the chromosome number the chromosome number had already doubled these are the chromatid fibers right okay they are already doubled okay and in leptotene or leptonema also called as leptonema lepto is thin and nema is thread okay it's basically thin thread okay so the already replicated chromatin fiber they condense to form thin threads like this right so these are what these are chromosome okay this is nuclear membrane this is nucleolus next stage is zygotene zygos means pair so simple to remember and teen is thread nema is thread okay so what happens in zygotene is the chromosomes from father and the chromosome from mother they pair with each other okay in our case there are 23 pairs so i have shown only two okay so they pair with each other and this pairing is also called as synapse this pairing is also called as synapse okay and these are called sister chromatids what are these sister chromatids okay while the green and the red are non sister chromatids okay the same same green is sister chromatids and green and red are non sister chromatids okay the centrioles already duplicated okay 
they are forming some aster rays these are aster rays okay and they are connected with each other each other by spindle fibers but this is for only their connection okay then next stage is pachetine or pachetine pachetine okay here the sister chromatids become visible more visible okay as pachy pachy is thick okay they become thick visible okay and there is a something something beautiful happened there okay what is crossover what is this this is crossover okay the non sister chromatids the non sister chromatids form a crossover okay and that junction is called as chiasmata that junction is called as chiasma or chiasmata jay mata di okay so chiasmata non sister chromatids are remember okay and this is the place where we get genetic recombination and genetic re recombination is very important for variation right for evolution so remember this the next stage is diplotene and diplo means two right okay diplo means two so what happens here is the chiasmata right or the non sister chromatids they start to repel each other the non sister chromatids start to repel each other okay the nuclear membrane the nuclear membrane start to disappear nucleolus start to disappear nuclear membrane start to disappear nucleolus start to disappear okay the centrioles also get to their poles centrioles to the poles okay simple but still remember that even they start to repel each other they don't leave each other okay terminalization is there they start repelling but there is terminalization they don't leave each other okay ye saath nahi chhodenge wala concept okay then there is diakinesis okay this is the fifth stage of prophase 1 then there is diakinesis so what happens is nuclear membrane is gone nucleolus is gone as you can see there are spindle fibers attached to the centromeres okay spindle spindle fibers attached to the centromeres right okay abhi bhi ye judai hua hai theek hai then what happens is they become double okay they become double and in next stage which is metaphase 1 okay अगेन मेटाफेस हमने पहले भी देखा है माइटोसिस में ऑल द क्रोमोसोम्स अरेंज इन अ इक्वेटोरियल प्लेन दे आर पुल्ड बाय द स्पिंडल फाइबर्स एंड देन द एनाफेस बनाना लाइक स्ट्रक्चर गेटिंग पुल्ड टुवर्ड्स द पोल एंड देन टीलोफेस हैपेंस वेयर वी गेट टू सेल्स okay but two haploid cells remember two haploid cells okay so what happens is i'll revise again let's revise fast so we start with 2n and we get nn till telophase 1 after that what will happen is meiosis 2 and meiosis 2 is totally equal to mitosis the same thing happened which we did in mitosis same okay and nn we form gametes okay right so go through this once again okay till you get it do your best we'll see in the next video